what do we have here <laughs> finally it has arrived um, probably one of the most talked about releases in our hobby especially in the last few months so man let's get the plastic off this thing and take a closer look all right well <laughs> pretty impressive to me nothing is perfect let's get it right out of the way right now nothing is perfect you can tell the Ferrari logos are missing if that bothers you you know this is a whole licensing game If that bothers you enough to pass on the car then pass on it that's you um, I'm glad I'm not that way uh, this is a wonderful looking slot car other than that I think they've done a wonderful job throw the data up there for you um, like I said nothing's perfect but man this is one sharp slot car um, just very very pleased with it overall uh, we can nitpick them to death that's what some people do um, that's just not me I think this is a pretty good uh, pretty good 132nd scale representative by slotted of this uh, iconic car and I'm just you know just very happy to see it like I said nothing's perfect but on the outside uh, and its speed well, I have no complaints I'm very pleased with it. Okay, under the hood, not much is new. Uh, familiar ground here. Sidewinder configuration. EVO sidewinder pod. Um, it does have screws here, but I took them out. They just get in my way of the float sometimes. They hang up, so I just, I just get rid of them, and I can have better float that way. That's just me. And... Standard motor, 23K motor, 11 to 32 gearing. I have all that there in the data. Um, the changes here are up in front. Um, you'll notice here, we now have set screws in the top and bottom. Um, and gone, finally, are those plastic uh, carriers, as I call them, that used to ride in the front bulkhead here. They, they were just uh, more of a nuisance than anything. They didn't do anything for me I always removed them and got the set screws out here so those are finally gone um, I'm happy for that uh, also up here by the guide you notice it has a screw so this isn't a snap-in guide anymore we finally have a screw and uh, as we get to tuning this front end you'll uh, <laughs> you'll be happy that we have it so like I said not much has changed here pretty familiar ground and now we'll get to uh, doing a little bit of tuning. All right, so I've already mentioned that the tires rub the body out of the box. And uh, honestly, that's really not that big of a deal for me. I have plenty of slotted cars and a sorry thunder slot with adjustable front axle. And a lot of times, that's just part of these competition cars is to adjust them. So not a big deal. I adjusted it, you know, to where they clear. The problem comes, you know, from setting this height, um, getting it clear, and then what happens? Well, you start moving the axle up and down. Now you kind of start um, affecting the guide and lifting the guide up out of the slot in quite a ways, actually, um, depending on how uh, you like your front end setup. I like mine set up where the tires are just barely touching. Okay? Just barely touching. Not really supporting the weight, but just touching. Kind of like the old outrigger tripod effect. Well, to do that with these tires in stock form, it's going to raise this guide quite a ways out of the slot. So, what you're going to need is you're going to need shims. As a matter of fact, quite a few. Um, I started stacking the 10 thousandths and I ended up with 60 thousandths using two of these just to get it right. So that kind of helped the stock guide get back where it's supposed to be but there's a couple other things here that you can do up front uh, that might make uh, life a little easier. So another option of course is what a lot of enthusiasts do. Uh, the advanced guys out there is uh, they're going to sand and true or turn down the stock front tires and they'll leave them here and sand them down get them nice and true and smooth and that can reduce the diameter what I've been doing lately 
is using some zero grip so right here this is the 32Z quick slick zero grip and uh, it reduces the diameter pretty good uh, the stock is around um, 1960 1975 millimeter and this brings it down to about 1870 so that really helps when it comes to the adjustment another thing you might want to check um, with these cars is sometimes you have some side to side free play here you can tighten up the wheels or the gear and uh, that'll get rid of it I actually put a ten thousandths shim right here between the spur gear and the face right here of the bushing the axle bushing and uh, that got rid of it that tightened it up and it didn't uh, it didn't uh, spread it out too much where we have any rubbing so we're clear the other thing with this car sometimes they come this way is as you can see this pinion here um, really close <laughs> meshing with the gear here it does but it's really close I'm kind of weird about that I'm gonna go ahead and get my uh, pinion press and I'm gonna get this pinion on here just a little further um, I know contact is contact um, but it's just me okay just to summarize what I've done here finally I've also added uh, as you can see some uh, screws motor mount screws just to keep it from moving that's an option you don't have to but most of us well we all do and I add a little bit of lead about five grams here three grams here this is just a starting point you add you take away that's all part of the tuning process I can't tell you what the magic number is for your track I can just tune for mine but uh, it'll give you a good idea so we got the uh, quick slicks installed here the rear we got the zero grips up front time to button this thing up have us some fun just gonna do a after all the tuning laps I'm just gonna do a little Ooh, just for times just to see what we have then we'll run it again clean the tires give it another run but so far this thing is pretty quick let's see what she has okay just a summary did a 16 lap burst here with all the testing best lap 3.325 um, three fours being uh, being the average that's really good uh, on our track uh, for these cars 3325 more than acceptable and we still have still have some tuning to go but I'm very impressed what a car all right man I'll tell you what what is there stealth mode on this car you talk about super smooth and quiet man that's what I like about these cars that's what quality components deliver Wow what a beauty isn't that something to see scooting around the track everybody loves this car some people say it's one of the most beautiful cars ever built some disagree but I'll tell you one thing it just screams classic racing to me I'm just a Missouri redneck you know I don't know a whole lot but Tell you what, it's a beautiful car, and man, is it running good. Just a few, just a few little tweaks. Had some, had some issues there with the front end. Made sure it was uh, good to go, but once it's adjusted, a little bit of work. Man, what a car. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and summarize and end this right now. This is one great slot car. I will have the next one. And if it's not sold out and you haven't made up your mind yet, well, <laughs> I highly suggest you uh, get this one if you can. Well done, uh, well done, Slotted, you guys, the team there. You've done one outstanding job.